solve this problem. Let's assume that our compound, which is made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, has a formula of CX, HY, OZ, say, you know, and that when it reacts with oxygen, it's going to give us CO2 plus water, H2O, completely. And if this is X, then it's going to give us X moles of CO2. Uh, let me do it in another color so you can understand better. It's going to give you X moles of CO2 and Y divided by 2 moles of H2O, uh, basically. So now, based on the data that we've given, uh, we've been given that uh, the 1.39 grams, let me just check, it says 1.893 grams of this gives us 5.545 grams of CO2 and 1.38 grams of H2O. So we're first going to convert everything to moles by dividing it by the molar mass, which in this case is 270.36. In this case, CO2 is 12 plus 32, which is 44, and water is 18. So if you divide this, you will get the answer in moles. So we can say that approximately 0 0.007 moles of this compound gives us 18 moles of CO2 plus about 11 moles of water, H2O. So now if you want to see further, if you want to do this more, let me just uh, move this down. Oops, moved it too much. So based on the formula of the compound itself, which is C8, we know that the number of moles so if I divide this, and if I divide everything by 0.07, I know that one mole of the compound gives us 18 divided by, uh, sorry, already did that. So that's how we know how many moles of each are there. Uh, so one mole of the compound is going to give us, basically, if we divide everything by that, we know that one mole of the compound is going to give us 18 moles of CO2 and 11 moles of H2O. So based on this, we can show that the compound definitely has C18 and H would be, uh, this is 11 moles, so there are 22 moles of H here. So there's 18 moles of C here, and there is 11 times 2, 22 moles of H here. And we don't know what O is, so we'll call it OZ. So that is approximately the formula of the compound. Now, if you want to find out the amount of O's, Simply, let's find out the molecular weight of this. So it's 18 times 12 for carbon, plus 22 times 1 for oxygen, plus Z times oxygen 16, equals 270.36. You can solve this to get Z equal to 2. And therefore, we can say that overall, our compound is has a formula of We can say that overall our compound has a formula of C18H22O2.